Well, I see it as three main trends that are kicking in with interior design this year for us. Uh, things that have come out of Europe, we're seeing homes that are lived in now. So by that, I mean, we've got picture frames coming back. You know, people want to walk into your home and they want to see that you actually live there. So perhaps it's the uh, piece of glass that you picked up in Venice and carried home on your knee. Uh, it's, you might think it's hideous, but as a single piece, it's actually got a story. So the home's a home with stories and memories in it. Uh, moving on from that, we're actually seeing a lot of Bronze, brass, silver, gold, copper, the, the metal elements are coming back, but they're very clean in their form. They're once again used with a lot of timber in our bookshelves, so the rusticated sort of timber slightly moving aside for something more refined. Perhaps the kind of stuff you remember from the 80s, the smoked black glass table with the, the sort of bronze and brass legs on it, that sort of look. Um, we're looking at texture and fabrics now, so uh, we, we want to feel something. So rather than just being a smooth, plain sort of finish, we want flocked things such as uh, velvets coming back in and um, stuff you can actually rub your hand on and see a shift in. Uh, also, uh, you know, heavier texture in the actual weaving of, of the upholstery fabrics. Same goes for your curtains. We're seeing that even though they may be plainer, um, they still have a lot more texture coming through in them. And the third thing, which is the biggie in my, my opinion, which kind of throws a few people, is um, in, how, indoor plants. So you've got indoor plants coming in, everyone's seen you know, your orchids, your Sambinian orchids, all the different kinds you can get. They're in great little pots, and that's where you can throw your colour in, your greens, your whites, or your blacks. We're sort of seeing a fair bit of that coming back with the metal as well. Uh, and on top of that, we're seeing uh, palms, <laughs> which some people can kill really easily, and I see it as a bit of an issue, but we're working on teaching people how to grow stuff. And rather than having a huge menagerie and spread of indoor plants, we've toned it down. We're looking more at maybe one or two types and slightly more architectural looks and having a lot more interest perhaps in the, in the pots they stand in. So by doing this, we're breaking up rooms using foliage as well.